burner up to heat. There we go. And when I say I'm coming in to clean up the wood burning from the last pass, I'm coming into areas like right this light in here, right up along the bill here. I didn't bring it all the way up to the pencil line. And so, that's what I'm doing right now. So there's a even, everything's even. Um, you can see that I didn't bring it all the way up to the bill line here. I'm going to come in and clean that up. a little further would be a little more convincing underneath the uh, lower mandible I did not bring this all the way as I should have used the heel to catch things up and even it out so that It's symmetrical. It's these little tiny um, places that get passed over and the carver doesn't come back and clean it up and if you've done this before you recognize exactly what's going on and that's what I meant by it's disappointing when I see carvers who have stopped short Looks pretty good around the bill area. So, I can see green line happening. I'm trying to close up on this. You can see the green line happening here, and here, and here. So what I do is I go in and I make sure that I burn across that grain line, kind of obliterating it, so it's no longer matching anything along the grain line. I'm also hunting down for places that I didn't burn. As well as others. There's that green line. Going in and working against it. Catching all of these lines right up to that eye ring, which still has a little bit of work to be done on them.
in and actually pushing in both sides. Add those splits to break up the green line, possibly my reference line. At this point, you know, everything is pretty diminished that was there initially, pencil lines and such. Where I see that I could actually split the wood a little bit more, I'm splitting. And because the, the hard grain line is predominant, quite often that'll be the areas that still need a little bit of burning anyway, which is probably why uh, they show. I didn't uh, force my way through when I was doing the first pass, so the grain line is, you know, a little more predominant than if I had, but uh, it's like choosing your battle. Right now, I can clean up what I missed on that first pass. When you're making those splits, you're going to go across and shorten these burn strokes. I mean, these are feathers that are pretty short because, you know, they're sticking out from the, the skull. And when you can add a little bit of depth with these splits, <clears throat> uh, it's just much more convincing when you're painting, especially in oils. Now, if I was painting, going to be painting this in acrylics, I would have never um, burned this finely, if at all. I probably would have stopped at texturing and because uh, it's going to all be sealed up. Let's say I did want to burn it. Then I would be burning it quite um, dark and so that when I each stroke that I made would 
give me a wide a wider path being cut in because the temperature is warmer hotter and uh, here I'm ending these barbs coming off of the head just by cutting around the back of them I'm going to come back and work on this back of this head area a little bit more after I get the rest of the side of the head under control it's all just been more refined Because your tool tends to want to fall in between the grain lines and into the soft wood around them, um, you can actually accentuate the grain lines without realizing that's what you're doing if you're not watching out. I'm going into some of these deeper crevices and splitting up in the depths as well. And if it looks like it's a different color, probably need to go back in and burn a little bit more and even things out. See how just going across those lines and breaking them up can really add depth and talked about 
you know, burning around the contour of the feather clumps as well. You know, I try to do that in the first pass as much as possible. But then, you know, there's always a little bit that needs to be redone. I need to go back on, not redo it. I just didn't do it initially, or perhaps I didn't do it deep enough. Come back and do that. Okay, so I want you to look at this side. Then if you look at this side, you can just see how much more really needs to be done, particularly in this area right here. So let's catch this side up. I don't see a whole lot of grain lines on this side. I need a dressing. I like to do those first because they have to be done and they will help me determine where else I need to come back and add splits. During my second pass. If I went and added all my splits and then I still had to come back and cover up the grain lines with splits, I may be adding splits where it's not appropriate. If I have to have one, I want to be evenly uneven and have them spaced correctly and be there for a reason, not just, you know, at random here and random there. see a little bit of green going on right here so I'm gonna power through it and try and remove anything that might accentuate 